Be go! Breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. How Okorocha lay on floor. Begged for help. Hamid EFCC invasion. How Okorocha lay on floor. Begged for, for help. Hamid EFCC invasion. So my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned. As I read today's news, Senator Rochas Okorocha laid on the floor and begged for help during the invasion of his Abuja residence by security operatives on Tuesday. Daily Trust had reported how officials of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, laid siege to the former governor's residence on Tuesday afternoon. After a standoff that lasted for over five hours, the armed security operatives broke into Lokorocha's apartment and whisked him away. Sounds of gunshot rent the hair as the operatives forced their way into Lokorocha's expansive city room where he and his family members all laid on the floor to apparently escape being eaten by stray bullets. Please help. Call for my rescue. Come and help me, my lord. My god. Come and rescue me, Okorocha said in trembling voice. Okorocha was later seen in a video where he said it was his last appearance for the night. EFCC is here with some gunmen. They have broken all my bulletproof doors. This is my last appearance. They are coming in to shoot, the senator said briefly before taking cover. After Korocha was arrested, a shooting match ensued between some persons suspected to be his aides and some EFCC officials. The cause of the argument was unknown by the white Toyota EAS boss. The senator was forced into wait for at least 30 minutes before it joined the convoy of security operatives that raided the residence. According to an official of the anti-graft agency, Okorocha would be detained at headquarters of the commission till May 30 when he would be arraigned. While addressing journalists before his arrest, Okorocha wondered why the security agent would, host, would hold him hostage. But EFCC spokesman Wilson Ujarin said the move followed the alleged refusal of the former governor to honor several invitations extended to him after jumping the administrative bill earlier granted him by the commission. Who would Jaren recall that the EFCC out on January 24, 2022, filed a 17 count charge 
bordering on diversion of public funds and properties to the tune of 2.9 billion against Okorocha. He said the case was assigned to Justice Inyang Eko of the Federal High Court. Abuja but attempts to rearrain, Okorocha was twice stalled owing to the absence of the ex-governor who evaded service of processes. Senator Rochas Okorocha lay on the floor and begged for help during the invasion of his Abuja residence by security operatives on Tuesday. Daily Trust had reported our officials of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission EFCC laid siege to the former governor's residence on Tuesday afternoon. After a standoff that lasted for over five hours, the armed security operatives broke into Lokorocha's apartment and whisked him away. Sound of gunshot rent the air as the operative forced their way into Lokorocha's expansive city room, where he and his family members all laid on the floor to apparently escape being hit by stray bullets. Please help. Call for my rescue. Come and help me, my lord, my god. Come and rescue me, Okorocha said in trembling voice. Okorocha was later seen in a video where he said it was his last appearance for the night. EFCC is here with some gunmen. They have broken all my bulletproof doors. This is my last appearance. They are coming in to shoot. The senator said briefly before taking cover. After Okorocha was arrested, a shouting match ensued between some persons suspected to be Izerit and some EFCC officials. The cause of the argument was unknown, but the white Toyota ES balls. The senator was forced into it, wait for at least 30 minutes before it joined the convoy of the security operatives that raided the residence. According to an official of the Antigraft Agency, Okorocha would be detained at headquarters of the commission till May 30 when he would be arraigned. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.